Hi there, this is Spawn7 with another Blu-ray update. Hopefully I can get this to focus properly. There we go. And as you can see, I have another uh, steelbook. And this is the Terminator 3. This is the full slip steelbook. As you can see, a really nice embossed front. The back is also embossed, but I haven't removed the card. So it's just flat in the minute, but on the other side it is also embossed. So as I said, it's Terminator 3. That's uh, also embossed. This is that. Then we have the sticker, hopefully. Film Arena. Uh, arena. But yeah, so that's my second edition. I have Terminator 1. I also haven't watched the Terminator Genesis one that is coming out. I'm cancelling my Zavi Steelbook and ordering that instead. But inside we have the Steelbook. So this is the metal magnet. It starts off the TA. That's cool. And then we go and it's Arnie. So yeah, very cool. So it's the same steelbook as Zavi. You get a photo book this time with the pictures from the film. That's just some of them. This collects fingerprints like mad. I'm not going to show everything because it's a bit of a pain, but you get the desk, you get your little card, your number, you get a character cards, and you get a little poster as well, which I, if I remember right it's this, or a similar picture to this, but you get a nice poster as well. But yeah, so really glad to get that and glad they're releasing Genesis as well. Hopefully they can do Terminator 2 at some point. But yeah, very cool. Kind of expensive, but I think it's kind of worth it. Especially considering how much the Zabby Steelbooks are getting. Ridiculous. Anyway, so we'll do my DVDs first because I've got, yeah. No, sorry, I'll do my Blu-rays first. So if you don't want to see the DVDs, they're at the end. First up is the Avengers Steelbook from Zavi. Talking about Zavi and the rip-off prices. Uh, has the annoying sidebar. I hate that. I wasn't that impressed with this film. I thought it was a bit, mm, a bit dull, to be honest. I don't know what was wrong with it. It was just, it was there. It was, it was all right, but I was not impressed at all. One I was <laughs> pleasantly surprised by it was Big Game. This is really fun. It's Samuel Jackson's new film. But yeah, he's the president, and he gets a. Uh, uh, hijacked basically and he's useless <laughs> and the kid in it is really good and the next one one I still haven't watched but I did get is Fast and Furious 7 this is the extended cut I don't care about the special edition ones of these so I just got the normal one there are steelbook editions but I don't really here. Same cover on the inside and out. But yeah, Fast 7. Let's see what that's like. Uh, an upgrade. And it is Shocker. Uh, this has a nice lot of extras. It has the old commentary that we got in the UK. I don't know if that was out in America. But it has a newer commentary, some new interviews. 
your spots and stuff. But yeah, again, it has uh, two different colours. Uh, it'd be nice to watch this since uh, Wes Craven passed away, sadly. But yeah, so that is shocker. And these are going up in price, which is really annoying. I think this is one of the last ones that I'm getting for thirteen pound. They're going up to about nearly seventeen. Which is making me debate, especially when some of the ones that are coming out with. I'm not too sure about it, but we'll see. Uh, this is another Scream factory, and it's the Legacy. I've never seen this. So I don't know what it's really about. But kind of an Exorcist film, so I think, or it's Supernatural. I probably got that completely wrong, but never mind. But yeah, so it's got some interviews, theatre uh, trailer, TV spots and still gallery. But yeah, hopefully that's good. One that just arrived today, and I only got it for the commentary and extras, it's Neil Gun Massacre. I have the uh, special edition in the States, but I just thought I'd pick this up, keep my slasher collection going. Let's see if I can zoom into that. And see some of the extras. But yeah, I think the only one I'm missing is uh, Don't Go in the Woods Alone. I've got all the other ones, so I'll be trying to get that at some point soon. That's uh, this is number seven. I've changed it from the alternative art, so no booklet in this one, which is a shame. This is disc, there's the alternative artwork. But yeah, pity there was no book. But I think we're supposed to be getting uh, another one a week Monday from this line, but we'll see. These get delayed all the time. There's one's scalps has been delayed till next year, which is oh, annoying. Uh, another hammer upgrade. I'm not getting rid of my steel book because it's very cool. And this is Curse of the Werewolf. I don't know if this has got any new extras. I haven't compared. It, but I will be. It's got a new makings of, I think. So it's got, yeah, a new 30 minutes makings of. And it's got, oh no, it's got Censoring the Werewolf, which is new makings of. And, uh, Like and Float the Beast of Monas. <coughs> Excuse me. So I actually think that's got less extras than the DVD, because the DVD's two discs. Hopefully it looks nice. Uh, one that I should have just got the French version for, but I just never got around to it. And it is John Wick. It isn't cut, as far as all the information I could find. It has extras, but it doesn't tell you what they are. I think they're the same as the American and other editions. I wasn't that fussed about getting a special edition of this, so I just waited. They just announced the new director as well. Or the second one, so that's interesting. Another one that I just got out of interest, mainly because it's a um, Lamberto Bava film, and it is Blast Fire. I think I'm going to swap the covers. Again, not a lot of extras. These Italian ones don't really come with very good extras, which is a shame. That's why I don't pick them all up. And there's some that I just don't want. But yeah. So that is Blast Fire. It's a Bava, so. And this is. It's Lamberto. I quite like his stuff. Uh, next one, I'm just going to show quickly because it's getting near the start of the rugby. And this is. I'm going to butcher this. This is Zar, Zardos. This is Sean Connery. I really like the, the alternative cover art, so I put this back on. And it has a nice lot of extras. Hopefully you can see that. It's not too blurry. Commentaries, makings of, interviews. So yeah, here we have the disc. You have the normal artwork, which is alright. We have the booklet as well. Nice thick booklet. Really cool. So that's but I'd never seen this film. I've heard about it. I 
I didn't pay very much for it. Oops. But yeah, that is the front cover. I really like that. So that's cool. And another upgrade. This is Eaten Alive. I missed out on the two disc DVD. I have got the one disc. But this makes up for it. So I think I would change the cover for this as well. But I haven't. I don't know. I might leave this. Because my DVD's got a nice cover. But here we have all the extras. So that makes up for the one that I missed from Dark Skies, I think it was, in the States. I think that's who. I got the one disc one. That's the alternative artwork. So I might change it to that. I haven't decided yet. But I like uh, the disc. Alright. Flip over another disc. And we have the booklet again. Uh, next one is one that I'll just quickly. It is Star Wars Rebels Complete Season 1. I've only watched the Spark of Time, is it? The first episode. It was alright. I really like Clone Wars, so this has got a lot to live up to. But we'll see. There is a comic of this guy that I'm getting, so I should really watch this before the book comes out. But yeah, it looked it looked alright, and I didn't pay a lot for it. So that's the Blu-rays. So if you want to switch off, feel free, and thanks for watching the Blu-rays. But now we're going to go on to the DVDs very quickly. So we've got this. This is ex ex I can't speak. Extinction. Oh, I think that's... Yeah, um, a Michael Fox film. A zombie film. I just watched the trailer and really thought it looked quite interesting. So I got it for £7. So that's one. This was... Oh, I don't know what... This is Infinity. This looked good, had good bits, but bloody hell, the script was a mess. It was... I don't know. I didn't... It's a strange one. I didn't dislike it, but I didn't like it. I thought it could have been so much better. And we have some interior artwork. It was just a weird one. I wouldn't recommend this. But saying that, I wouldn't put anybody off watching it. Because it did. It, it was entertaining. It was just... It needed to be rewritten. To be honest. Uh, I've started buying some of the Hong Kong Legends again. This is one I got for £2. I'm going to butcher that name as well. Beast Cops. I don't know what this is. I've never heard of this. The only reason I got it is because it's got a Bay Logan commentary. And I like Bay Logan. But it's a cop film, and I do like Asian cop films. So hopefully that's good. If anybody knows what this is like, if it's any good, let me know. But yeah. I also want to get Black, Sh Black Sheep Affair and 2000 AD. That's the two that I'm really look looking for. Another one I bought for the Bay Logan commentaries. <laughs> Is the Once Upon a Time in China trilogy? I paid about three pounds for this. So yeah, okay, it's got chapter one, two, and three of Jet Li's trilogy. I'm not going to pull all that out. Everybody knows what this is. I've never seen these, so that'll be interesting to watch. And one that I should have got years ago, but I've only just managed to get it now. I paid six pounds for this. Steam Boy director's cut from the director of Akira. This is a really cool addition. This was brand new. Couldn't believe it when it turned up how good a condition it was. Pop it out. It's really heavy. Whoops, that's there. Back. But this hasn't been released on Blu-ray in the UK, which is strange. So hopefully it's good. I got it mainly because of who directed it. So we get this uh, extract from the comic. It has the translations in the middle. Another card. It even came with a sticker. 
tell you what the contents were. But yeah, very cool. Um, what else? Oh yeah, we got the book. This is very cool. I also want to get the French Acura edition, which has this in it. So there's a French box set of Acura that has this. I'll be trying to get that. But yeah, this is very cool. Again, I'm not going to go in depth with this. Because this is quite an old box set. It was quite expensive when it came out, but as I said, I got it for six pound, including postage. Now these are art cards. I'm not going to pull these out, but yeah, very cool. And then we have the actual DVD. Nice information. Very nice art inside. So we have. Uh, Disc 2 with the extras, I suppose, and disc 1 with a nice booklet as well. But yeah, so that is very cool. I'm really glad to have that. And that is it for this update. Uh, sorry, it was a bit long winded, but please rate, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you again in a couple of weeks' time, hopefully, with some nice uh, RO box sets. We'll wait and see. Anyway, thanks for watching again and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.